Headlines Uganda Daily Monitor Director arrested over defiling 6p.7 pupils Blocked, workers on city roads disrupt transport Museveni's plan to lower cost of fuel New Vision Cage the case, key suspects arrested Kaya Bazinga seeks Bunyoro blessings ahead of royal wedding Controversy erupts over businessman shot dead The Standard How not to bring down cost of living IEBC reforms vs right of representation The winners and losers as dialogue team wraps up Health and Science Diabetes I had to find a new way to live. Critical state, report by Auditor General has exposed gaps in Kenya's water tower conservation efforts. The Citizen Why Tanzania's economy is projected to grow by 6.1%. Upendu, your world is your bond. Widespread flooding as incessant rain pounds DAR. Plight of homeless man who has spent 16 years in hospital. The New Times Inside Rwanda's plan to digitize all Irembo services by 2024 Government avails 500 Hafer Kigali Medical Hub in Masaka The Standard Eight people died, and other injured in accident involving a Matatu and trailer truck at Engate, on Nakuru, Eldorad Highway, Nakuru County The Star Big names miss out as MP Nero tops new ranking. State urged to act fast before lives are lost. Man, 70, gets his land after 10-year battle with two state agencies. Daily Nation. Best 150 members of parliament. UK envoy, we're open to talks on reparations. Nine countries record surge in new HIV cases. The Star. Super petrol prices likely to rise to shillings 300 in the coming EPRA fuel price review, Energy CS Davis Churcher says. The East African How Uganda Agoa ban will impact EAC partners in growth. Why Kenya got cut off Kampala oil supply deal. Envisaged benefits of Ruto's visa waiver. Monday Big Stories. Key Joan Cage murders suspects arrested. Key Museveni speaks out on oil import deal. Businessman Henry Katanga's death, the unanswered questions. Nation Africa. Layoffs rise to covered levels on higher taxes, fuel costs. Kenya's unemployment crisis deepens further in October after companies cut jobs. The Citizen. Brings you exclusive you stories of phenomenal texturos from all across Tanzania, some of who run impactful tech-enabled companies. The Standard The international prices of fuel could go up to $150. This would literally mean our petroleum prices could go up to shillings 300 per litre.